So you're getting the idea that you don't have to be any different, you don't have to have two heads, you don't have to do anything, you've just got to make sure that you've got a destination, make sure that you've got belief in yourself. Because what we all do, where you are now, is a direct result of what you've learned from people who haven't got a bloody clue what they're talking about. And you're now, every bit of information you get, you're making the decisions based on information given to you people that don't know what they're talking about. So, if you think about it, you're in a no-win situation, aren't you? Because you can actually take any bit of information, it can be the greatest bit of information on earth, and it could be destined to make you the wealthiest person on earth, and you'll be able to talk yourself out of it. Clever, isn't it? That's a great thing to do, isn't it? So, where does it all start? We're programmed. Every one of you is programmed differently. And every one of you, given a certain set of circumstances, a certain bit of information, jot it down on a bit of paper and we'll have it. Everyone will have a different answer. Why? Because of how you've been programmed. Uncle Cross reprograms people. And he says, forget all the past, only visit the past for good memories and knowledge. Right? Forget all your books and your readings and your bits and pieces, because you can recite the Bible word for word. It don't make you a bloody priest, does it? Do you understand what I'm saying? You can, you can recite any book. You can recite the science of getting rich. But if you don't actually action what's going on, it won't help you. Because positive thinking doesn't work. And everyone, every book you've read said positive thinking does work. Doesn't it? What works? Positive action. Okay? So it's nothing to do with thinking. When we're young, Tracy's the only one here that will know about this, but you get a little baby. Yeah. Oh, isn't she lovely? I can't wait till she can walk. And we go, oh, dear, 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 wouldn't well, it be lovely? And all of a sudden, she's stumbling, and she's falling over, and go, ah. Oh, and all the hurdles, she don't pay any notice, she's going to walk. And then all of a sudden she starts trotting about like this. And touching the new leather suite. <coughs> and touching the glass mirror. So what do we do? Put her in a little cage. It's nice, isn't it? That's a good way to develop, isn't it? What other thing in nature has a baby <coughs> and locks it up? The things get better. It starts walking and we take it out. What do we do then? Put it on a leash. Well, the only other thing is a dog, isn't it? So what we got, what we've given birth to here, a dog. Right? And it gets better. Oh, listen, she's trying to talk. Ma, 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 ma. Come on, let's talk, talk. And all of a sudden, as soon as she's got the ability to link sentences together, we say, shut up! I'm busy. So all of a sudden, there's this little thing trying to come into the world Learn how to walk and we lock it in the cage. Learn how to talk and we keep telling them to shut up. Right? And we go through and then he gets to five years old. He goes to school. And this is where the problem starts. Because if you haven't programmed that child by the time it's five, you've got no chance. You know why? Because it's spending more time with other adults than you. You work it out. It's at school all day. So if the teacher at the school is a racist, what's your kid going to become? Right? If the teacher, whatever the beliefs the teacher at school's got, is programming your child. Right? Comes home at night, don't bother to talk, da 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 da. So by the time the kid's 15 or 16, it's totally confused. You don't know it. It don't know you. Right? And you say, all right, go and get yourself a job. If you don't want a job, you go and learn, go and study. Right? So, who's making the decisions? Your parents. They're making the decisions for you. You're not making the decisions. Like as Matt says, he's more likely the, the dream child. He'd become an insolvency accountant. He could work 80 hours a week, knock his pipe out, make himself sick, but on paper, he's a dream child. He's a success. And he's nearly killed himself with worry. Right? So, what you've got to do is you've got to realise what you're dealing with. Because most people that give you advice 
have never ever experienced what they're advising you about. And most parents, they try and be helpful. Josh has got it. Matt's got it. From their parents. Oh, are you sure you should be promoting on an $800,000 job? What if the world comes to an end? <laughs> what if someone don't turn up for work? What if this happens? So what? Just start. It's no different. It's, no, it's the same journey. Don't matter what it is. It could be an $80 job or $800,000 job. There's no difference. You start, and if you see a problem, you solve it. Because there's no such thing as a problem. All, all things are situations waiting to be solved. There's no such thing as a problem. Anyone who reads my website will know. I've got a saying. What's that saying? Here's a situation. It's worrying me. Have I done everything I can? Two, is there anything else I can do? If the answer to those two questions is yes, no, sling it in the bin. And don't approach it, don't even think about it, until it rears its head as a situation to be solved. Make sense? Right? Because the thing is, in the interim period, you're thinking about it, and you're going, oh my God, what if this happens? And you've got all the programming from the past coming in. What if that happens? What if this happens? What if that happens? Because you've been programmed by people that don't know about just expressing yourself and dealing with things as they happen. I particularly believe that you should think the whole first. And then worry what's going to happen. Then worry if the sides fall in or whatever. But don't actually work out, mm, if I dig that and I get in it, da, 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 da. just start on your journey. But don't just start willy-nilly. Get a bit of fire in your belly. 